Alright, alright, alright. Welcome back to another Attack on Titan Tactics video. I'm going to be talking about the new Titan Elimination Part 2 that just dropped and Joint Force. And specifically, I'm going to be speaking about how to 3 star the hardest stage of both. I'm going to start here with Titan Elimination 2 because it's pretty easy. Um, this is the team I'm going to be rocking. I'm going to replace Aaron with the trap, of course. I do not want to use this Levi right now. I want to save him for Joint Force because he saves you like a good 30 seconds. So you can basically use anyone for this. I think I'm going to use the combo Armin and Mikasa for this. I think. Yeah, I think this should be fine. There's a strategy to this. You kind of need either Annie or Jean for sure. One of those is probably extremely helpful. You can replace Ilse with Sasha. She does the healing fine. Mikasa can be replaced with like any damage dealer really. She's not that important. Uh, Berthold can be replaced with Levi, God, Erwin, or the new Aaron. The trap is like the only thing on this team that cannot be replaced, sadly. So I'm going to start here by placing a trap and placing Berthold now. The reason I put Berthold down is because he's going to be able to heal, so it's almost as if I'd even place him. Right? So another guy will come here on left in a second here, and I'm going to put Hanj here, who can also be replaced by any damage dealer, to work on him until Berthold gets there, right? Now, this is going to keep stalling them, and these guys should have no problems clearing them up. I think we should be fine here. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and put Mikasa now to clear out some adds. We got the Stepping Titan, which I would usually mobile, but I think these three could actually kill it in one shot. Yeah, there we go. Now, we're going to get some more adds, so Bear Tool should clean up while those two attack him. We're going to put another trap here, just in case. Alright, and we're going to replace Armin here to destroy his legs and to just do damage overall. We need to start pushing now, like hardcore. It's going to trap them both, and now we're going to put Ilse to heal everyone. This combo is pretty overpowered, honestly. Now we got to beat it within, I think, a minute 45, right? Yeah. Alright, so they're going to go ahead and kill him, and that's when, when this guy spawns, no matter what, if you kill him... Then the boss also spawns, so I'm going to go ahead and use Jean's SP here. Alright. <clears throat> this should kill or get him pretty close. Alright, so it killed. Annie's kills too. Annie works just fine in that situation. Now the boss spawns, and he has really annoying swiping mechanics, so we're going to wait for my Mobley SP here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and Mobley SP while the trap keeps stalling those enemies so they don't destroy my base. And that's basically Titan Elimination. This is the exact same as the other part. Now Armin's going to do more damage and everyone's just going to go all the way in. And that's it. We beat it within a minute 23. Pretty simple. Most people are probably proficiency deficient. But other than that, if you have a team sort of like this, it works. I'm going to go ahead and talk about replacements here in a second. Oh yeah, I forgot. It also gives some pretty good drops. Oh cool, we got Oro Souls. So cool, man. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and redeploy so I can show you. Alright, so, Mobli, I don't think he can be replaced. Maybe Mikasa can replace him. That'd be, like, uh, Cadet Mikasa, where is she? Or Scout Mikasa, my bad. The Jet Black AoE one, I have her here somewhere. I think I'm just going to sort by rarity. Oh, wow, it doesn't even update. Alright, yeah, so this Mikasa right here. Same character, there she is. She's blacked out. She can obviously do it. Ilse can be replaced by Sasha, who I don't have. Mikasa can be replaced with any damage dealer, really. Beartold can be damaged or replaced by any damage dealer, like Erwin, Aaron, Jet Black Levi even works. Uh, Blue Levi, of course. Armin works. Hanj, same thing. She can be replaced by any of those. The only non replaceable units I feel to, for this are the healer, so Ilse, Sasha. The trap is mandatory, I feel like. And John can be replaced with Annie, and that's basically it. Just do what I did in that video. You should know when everything's coming and have units set up. If you fail, just bat or if you get a bad hand, like you want to start with like a, a really quick killer in the beginning. I like starting with Baratold. If you start with a bad hand, you can close and restart. And now on to Inferno. This is definitely the more difficult one. Uh, Joint Force Inferno. We're gonna be trying to bring. Um, I could use a proficiency 38 Levi, but let me see if I have the 41 still active. 
Uh, I've done it before, the, my official run. My first run, I used it with a Proficiency 38 Levi. My second run, I three-starred it. I did it with an Annie instead of Levi. And my, well, this is going to be my third run. I'm going to use a Proficiency 40 Levi to make the video more efficient. Uh, I think I'm going to replace Ilse because I don't think I need the healing right now, so I'm going to sort it by proficiency here. I got to take Armin, he's required, right? Uh, and this should be it, alright. <clears throat> now, I think I'm going to bring Mobleet to boost Levi's SP and get my trap SP quicker. Get Halloween John's SP quicker. Everything should be fine, right? Let's go ahead and find out. I hope the audio isn't trash in this video, I try to make it better, I'm trying to improve on it and make it less crackly at times and less mumbly, it's like sometimes it pick up, picks up my words mumbly as if I'm not speaking, so we'll try to fix that in this one. Alright, so basically you gotta kill 12 dudes here, I like starting with the trap, if you don't get that trap, remember you back out and restart. Alright, we put the trap here, I like to go where the first person goes, so Beartold went there, they don't get trapped for long but it puts them in the animation, I put John there to weaken. Beartold gets the kill and then the heal. What? The trap just did not do that, did it? Alright, I think the trap just bugged there. It usually does not do that, but Levi should be able to stun him here or kill him. And the stun, Beartold should heal up by these enemies over here. Levi should help assist in taking them out. Come on, Beartold, get one. Beartold, get one. Alright, now this first dude, I think uh, Levi has it handled. And then this other one, I'm going to destroy his arms with Mobleet so he can't interrupt us. And I think this is where the first stage of dudes come out. Yeah, here we go. They both went for different ones, so I'm going to wait for one of them to get captured before I even try anything here. I don't even think I need to. I can just put this here. John right there. We're going to put my trap here to stall him out. We'll put Hanj there to do damage. And what do I have to beat this in? 210, I think this is doable. Now these ones are gonna spawn here, so we can just Levi SP to take them all out. Sexy SP bro, sexy SP. He one shots them all. Now he's dead. She's gonna keep dealing with these guys over here. I think I'm gonna use Mikasa's SP here in a second. To go ahead and push up on this dude. And I think just four more will spawn, if I'm lucky. I might need to use an arm cutter SP here. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I think I'm going to put Levi here to help clear out the next stage so I can get the SP. I think I missed one, but I think we're good anyways. So we're going to pop this here. Rescue our units. We'll go ahead and do some damage. We're going to assist Hanj here by attacking the other one. I think that guy on the right should die, so we should be good. And if not, we just got to beat it within 210. No biggie. So if Mikasa dies, it's all good. Oh, unless uh, she actually does die. No, we're good. And that's it. That's how you beat it within 210. Levi is the key to this entirely. I think I still would have beat it with the Proficiency 38. But I did mess up in the beginning because my trap is supposed to trap twice, which it did waste around like five seconds. Like it's it's a bunch of RNG, right? But I beat it. That's how you beat this. Is how I personally beat it. Uh, Very nice, she's a chan. Twenty-five souls. That's pretty good. You can limit break him and get some good proficiency materials. You can hit it up, get the crystals out of it. How many crystals does it give? All right, nine crystals. You can go ahead and uh, get lucky on the Aaron Gotcha or something. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Take a shot for every time I've said that's it, and peace out.